everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about PDF files and how you can display PDF files to your users, how you can render them on the page, how you can load in new PDF files and how you can let your users interact with them so i have this pdf receipt fault app so the idea here is that users can upload a pdf file this can be of their receipt so you paid for something you want to keep track of it and then they can keep track of that in this app so maybe we can add some categories for example or we can see where they're spending all the money uh, mostly useful for bookkeeping or accounting purposes if you have a small business let's say i'm viewing the pdf file in this component here this pdf viewer component this is a super powerful component i can do all sorts of things with it which i'll show you in the video but this is coming from sync fusion they are also today's sponsor i've used them in the past they have some extremely powerful components this is just one of them they have a complete suite but in this video i'll show you how to get started with their react pdf viewer component how to set it up how to customize it and some of the benefits that you get with it so some of the things that i can already do right here is of course i can zoom in and out i can fit it to the width of the viewport there or to the page i can zoom in like this i can also search for text by the way so if i want to see all my receipt so if i want to see the type of payment i can find it right here it will actually annotate this with a color for me so i can easily view the match if i have multiple pages i can easily switch that i'll show you that as well i can add annotations myself like this as well so if you do want to underline something, maybe uh, the date here, I can add an underline. We can add an edit form field. So maybe you do want to add some additional information here, maybe a, a signature. Maybe you want to have a signature on the receipt. We can do all of that here as well. I'll show you all of that in the video, but let's actually just get started and clear this out. So now it's gone again. So actually you can see that I'm not only able to interact within the component itself, it's also often the case that outside this component in our app, we want to be able to programmatically change things in this PDF viewer component. And so I just cleared it out. So you can see I'm able to interact directly within the component itself, but the app is also able to programmatically change things here in the PDF viewer component, right? which is often what we want to do if we're building an app. There will be other functionalities in the app and the PDF viewer component needs to react to that. Right? So you can see this is all being programmatically done here i can switch between the pdf files i can load new ones i, I was able to find this cache in this case it didn't find anything and it shows me this dialog i can even change the locale so in that case you can see when i hover this the tooltips they actually display a different language actually spanish in this case i can download that if i want and print it as well so very powerful but let's actually show how to get started with this how to set it up and how the options work. All right, so I just opened up my code editor, starting from a clean slate here. I don't have anything right now. Let's actually start by spinning up a new React app. I'm gonna use Vite here. I will just go through the setup here. So let's actually start by just creating a new Vite application here in this folder. We will pick React here, just go with the default options here. All right, so everything has been installed. Let's open it up in the browser here. So right now we just have the boilerplate. So let's actually just go here and clear out this uh, boilerplate here i will just remove everything here that we don't need so now it's just an empty page let me actually now there's a lot of default styling here as well which i'm going to replace with my own styling here so basically just making sure that the entire web app fits on one uh, viewport essentially so we don't have to scroll so we actually just have a blank page right now so let's actually get started with the actual pdf viewer components how can we get that on the page so sync fusion does have a getting started guide here for the pdf viewer components and we are using react here but works with other frameworks as well now there are a couple of different options that you have to know about to completely understand this which is that you can use this component in what i call what they call stand alone mode but also in server backed mode so with stand alone which is what i was using here what we will use here basically we are downloading that you could say engine to actually render the pdf open it open it up and render it we are going to install that locally onto our computers but if you do want to have more server side capability because maybe you do want to keep some things on the server side perhaps for performance reasons or security reasons that is possible as well but we will go with the standalone pdf viewer so i will install their package all right just npm install right here all right so now we have it installed in our node modules folder but in react vite if you're using a static asset we often want to bring it into either assets or public so in this case they actually give us a script so we can easily move that into the public folder so let's actually run that but if i run this you can see i now have this folder here that has a web assembly file and this javascript file okay so this is 
this will allow us to open the PDF file, render it. Okay, so then they also have some styling that we can bring in. Now they show an add import here, so we could add it to index.css. However, I was also able to make it work by just importing it here in the TSX file itself. And then here they give you a snippet just to have a boilerplate. So if we copy that and if I import the components now, you can see it's a root component here, the PDF viewer component itself. But then there is also this inject. So basically the PDF viewer will have certain features like a toolbar. We can zoom in and out as we just saw. That's magnification, navigate between pages and so on. We need to bring those in individually so we can keep the base small. So we're not unnecessarily adding things that we're not going to use. And then if you do decide that you want to have a print feature, basically, you need to individually inject that here as a service. Okay, so this allows it to stay performant, for example. So we can just import these. All right, so now I have imported everything. Let's go to the page and see what we have so far. All right, so here we now see something here. So they have a default PDF file that they show. And then here we see a message about the license. So Syncfusion offers this premium component suite and they put a lot of time and energy into this it's very powerful it's very comprehensive in some cases you do need a paid license for that however they do have some free options as well if you just quickly want to try it out and get started uh, you can try a free trial and if you log into your account then you can get an api key so check out the link in the description to do that and once you have the api key i can go to the root of your component so let's actually go to main.tsx here and we just have to register that license once so you can import the register license function from eg from their ej2 base npm module and then you can just call it with the api key in here all right so if we do all of that we can see that we now have a pdf file being loaded here we don't see any controls yet we'll fix that in a second but at least displaying it rendering it on the page properly with uh, all its content including page numbers all of that is working now this is a massive file so it's good news that we can see everything and it's being rendered properly of course we want to add the controls now as well but just to show you how you can load pdf files so there is this document path here that's going to be the actual PDF file that you want to display and then here they have a resource URL so this is for the actual uh, engine this is the actual library that you need to make it work so this can also change depending on whether you're doing it locally or if you're doing it with a web service API we can also add styling here and here it's setting a fixed height but if you're incorporating the PDF viewer into an existing app you probably have some kind of container element around it so probably it should just take up hundred percent of that so I will actually change this into just taking up 100% of whatever we're going to add here as the container for this. And I will also change the background color. And so now you can see it's actually taking up 100% of the page, right? But if we have an existing, but typically we want to incorporate this as part of a larger application. So let's actually see how we can do that and then... Add and then also how we can add the controls and other options. Because we have injected these services now, but I don't see any magnification icon, for example, right? So we need to actually do something more to make these services work. So some of these services like magnification, when you have like the magnifying icon, those are going to be part of the toolbar. So if we don't show any toolbar, you may not even see that either. And that's also true for some of those other ones. So what we can do is actually set the toolbar settings. We can then specify the tools that we actually want to show in that toolbar, right? So we we actually have some controls to manipulate the pdf and uh, we can also specify if we want to show tool tooltip and typescript is working perfectly fine here so if you want to see the options you can always use type inference here to see the options that you have All right same goes for the props here so you can see that we have all of these props it's super powerful there's so for pretty much anything that you have in your mind you can probably get it exactly or very close to what you want by using these options that you have you just have to use if you're using typescript it's even easier because you get this type in front but if you're using plain javascript of course they have an api reference as well but if we now go back here i change some things so we can actually view a more powerful pdf file as well so now we still have the pdf viewer component but it's sitting inside a container and it's just taking up 100 percent of that container which is probably what you want if you're incorporating and then around it we now have our app ui right so we have all these controls right so here we have our pdf received fault app uh, ui and then in here this box here i'm putting that component and now in here we see the toolbar as well right so now we do see zoom in zoom out i can pan right so i can actually move it around i can find text natively inside this component as well i can add uh, annotations so i can i can say hey this text here this needs to be different right or maybe uh, somebody else needs to take a look at it and I want to highlight it, right? So there's all these tools here to annotate 
the PDF, including underline, track through, squiggly text, but also shapes. So if you do want to add your arrows, you can do that here as well. We can add and edit form fields as well, download it and way more. Now, all of this is configured here. So you can see all of these options that I added, print option, download option. These are the options here. But remember, you do need to inject them as services or they're not going to show up. Now, I'm loading a different PDF file here because it's a little bit more powerful. So I'm, they actually have some really nice PDF files on the website. And this one has to do with a lease agreement. So this is a bit more of a complex PDF file. If I just refresh here, you can see this one has form fields, for example. So here I can then uh, sign and it opens up this modal here. And I can also fill out my other information here in these form fields, right? So all of that is possible here. But now let's say I want to programmatically change the PDF file that is being shown here. So if I click on the second receipt here, now I'm showing a receipt here, right? So I can actually switch between the PDF file being shown programmatically here as well. Okay, and we can do that by getting a reference to the viewer, and then we can call the load method on there. We just have to pass the source of the PDF that you wanna display. Now I can also load receipt dynamically here. So if you actually have some kind of upload feature, I can have, for example, that uh, big PDF file again. Let's actually load that. So now you can see I'm loading a huge PDF file and it's being added here to the list, but it can automatically be shown then as well. But you can see this is a big PDF file. Right. It's, it's displayed very fast and with very good performance here. Right. So you can see I can crawl up and down pretty fast and it's able to render it very quickly when I'm actually still again. Okay. Now I can then also switch between pages. Right. So there is also some page, some page features here, last page, previous page, and it's really fast. Right. So this is all very fast. There are also page thumbnails. So if you have a large PDF file and you want your users to be able to easily search through those files, all of that is possible here as well. If you're a little bit overwhelmed by all those options, just check out their documentation here it's all described and so for example if you do want to customize the toolbar it's all described here the type of tools that you can hide or display it's all described here if you want to try out the pdf component but you don't want to set up a complete app check out their samples page here they actually have some really nice samples and you can probably find a sample that's really close to your own use case so here if i zoom out a little bit they have a default PDF component here, standalone, but again, you can also use the remote option. If you have a read-only document where I should not be able to edit it, for example, right? So now I'm clicking in the form fields, but I cannot edit. You can do that as well. If you have like a list of PDF files and you want to display perhaps one in a modal, for example, you can see it opens up right here as well. If you want to give your users the ability to easily redact some information, for example, I want to black out uh, this part here you can see I'm drawing this black box here and then I can click on redact and it will sort of burn that into the PDF so now you can see I cannot read this anymore actually it works with text as well so I can say uh, this PDF files if I just draw on top of that and I click on redact it will actually remove that and display redacted redacted right so let me actually you can see now i have redacted redacted all right so you can also add forms here so you can add form fields so people can actually fill out information not just input fields also check boxes and radio buttons like this a full form and then i can also sign here right so we already saw that but i can then also download this file and if i then open it up you can see i get the pdf file including the information that i filled out all right so with annotations you can highlight something for example and you can download it then and then when it's opened again it's going to display the annotation again and it includes shapes as well even badges or stamps or sticky notes and ink and you can do that programmatically as well so here in my app if i want to have a rectangle in the pdf file but it's being controlled somewhere else in my app like this panel here which is which is outside this react component i can still add annotation here and you can see i specified the coordinates for where it should be placed you can see it was placed in that uh, position with that with those dimensions etc and there are of course also signature options that we saw so you can get really really advanced with this but i think you get the point which is that this is a really powerful pdf viewer component for react but not just for react so if you're using angular in some other project or, or you have some other tech stack so check out sync fusion here for the react pdf viewer actually they have a ton of other components as well so check out my other videos with sync fusion in any case thanks for watching and i hope this helps you out have a nice day bye